So as we are approaching the 7th of May 2023, the INICET, so here I am presenting a revision series for the INICET where we'll be posting certain questions of orthopedics uh, for your exam. So presenting on day one, the first question. Uh, you can see the question, there's a young marathon runner who has been complaining of pain on walking and running in anterior and medial aspect of tibia. On clinical examination, there's a shin tenderness. The X-ray findings are normal. Uh, bone scan, is advised? What is your diagnosis? Please try to understand everyone. Lis Frank fracture, you know, Lis Frank fracture is a tarso metatarsal joint fracture dislocation. So what I'm trying to tell you is that in a tarso metatarsal joint fracture dislocation, you cannot expect X-ray to be normal. Jones fracture is basically a fracture at the base of fifth metatarsal and to be even more precise it is at the metaphysio diaphysial junction again I would like to say that we do not expect X-rays to be normal. Nutcracker fracture is an intra-articular fracture of cuboid and of course we do not expect X rays to be normal, and the most important thing is shin tenderness, tenderness in the tibia. Either an option A or C or D, we do not expect any shin tenderness. Shin tenderness is seen in a condition called as MTSS, also what is called as medial tibial stress syndrome. Listen to me, everyone, very, very carefully. A common problem in marathon runners is continuous stress on the anterior medial border of tibia. That is what we call as shin. Why? See, please try to understand. We have a skin, underlying skin. We have fascia, underlying fascia. We have muscles. And then we have the bone. So, if anything happens here, before it reaches to the bone, it has to pass through a series of skin and fascia and soft tissue and then muscle and, of course, then the bone. Anterior medial border of tibia, which is what we call as shin, is quite subcutaneous. And since it is very subcutaneous, therefore any trauma happening onto that area is not transmitted directly onto the shin. It is not it is transmitted directly onto the shin. There is no soft tissue to absorb that trauma. So marathon runners they have a constant cyclical loading, and because of that, their shin, their anterior medial border of the tibia, that is constantly under pressure, and because of that pressure, there are minute cortical breaks that keep on happening over there. Now, when those cortical breaks happen, you know what they do? They lead to something which is called as inflammation of the outer jacket of the bone, the love and life of a bone. That is what is called as periosteum. So the key word here is periostitis to be actually to be honestly so to be honest the key word of shin splint is periostitis because of the constant cyclical loading there is the inflammation of the periosteum leading to periostitis now because of the periostitis there are small hairline stress fractures there are small hairline stress fractures of tibia and since they are hairline fracture therefore x-rays are usually normal and therefore, I would suggest the investigation of choice to be MRI. Initial cold packs are very important. Uh, strengthening of the muscles is very important. Strengthening the calf is very important. And it has to be taken care of seriously because it is a clear-cut symptom that you should first tone down your tone up your muscles rather than going for a marathon run. So basically, uh, pain happens, but that pain is not throughout. You start running within three to four minutes. You start feeling pain as you run ahead. The pain gets to the topmost intensity. And then when you gradually cool down, pain subsides. So basically, what I want you to understand that this kind of a cyclical pain that happens, it is classical of MTSS or what we call as shin splints. Investigation of choices, MRI treatment is rest, cold packs, and let it heal first. So this is one question, very important and interesting question, uh, which is a very coming from a very interesting topic. Uh, stay tuned for more videos uh, for the INICT 7th of May revision series program. Thank you.